Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex and today we're going to talk about the Cartier Tank Must. This watch was introduced last year, 2021, and uh, it's a revival, so to say, of the Tank Musts from the mid or late 70s. And at that time, just to give you a quick history lesson, it was the quartz crisis. Many big Swe uh, Swiss, not Swedish, brands died out during the quartz crisis. Cartier made a bold move and a very commercially successful move to take the tank that has been a very exclusive model from the brand since its inception in 1917 and made it accessible for the general public. So what they did back in the 70s was to take the tank that was only produced in precious metals, put it in a silver case and plated it with gold. They put in a lot of colorful and funky dials and just splashed them around the globe. 2021, Cartier does the same thing again, but this time with a small few tweaks from the 70s versions. And I got thrilled when they launched this one last year. Actually so thrilled that I eventually even purchased a new watch from a store, which is for me not common practice because I'm more into vintage pieces. So I rarely, you know, get the chance to, uh, so to say, to buy something from the store. To give you a quick couple of facts about the tank on my wrists, uh, the case measures 25.5 millimeters in width and is 33.7 cent uh, millimeters, not centimeters, uh, long. 6.6 .6 millimeters in thickness. So it's a it's a good looking watch. It sits very nice on my 16.5 centimeter wrist. So the case dimensions are slightly bigger than the original tanks that measure 23 by 30 millimeters. I've been wearing this one on my wrist for a year almost, and it's been on my, on my wrist 80% of the time since I bought it. So I must say that's a really good, you know, grade. Uh, from me personally to be wearing a watch that much usually i rotate a lot but this one has been sitting yeah for about 80 percent of the time during a, uh, the course of a year so that's uh, that surprised even me you know let's talk a bit about what i like about the watch and what i don't like about the watch let's start with the good parts uh, i love the looks of the watch i love the burgundy minimalistic dial that only has the cartier and logo and also the small Swiss made of course. Um, I like the case size and keep in mind I'm more of the traditional Cartier person so I usually want to stick to the you know original proportions but I think they made a pretty good job uh, and with this slightly bigger case dimension I think they appeal a lot of more people than you know us hardcore nerds. What's something that's not for the purists? is that they have taken the Louis Cartier case shape and made it in stainless steel. Keep in mind, traditionally white metal and the Cartier Tank Louis should be white gold or platinum, but now it's in steel. So I think it wears really nice. It's powered by a quartz movement, so for me that's perfect. Goes super well with casual clothing, like for example now a denim shirt and denim trousers or jeans. Um, it can also be, you know, dressed up to serve as a formal watch, but for me, it's not really a formal watch since it has a colorful dial. So yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoy this watch and I'm glad I actually bought one of these. On the downside, I would like to say that the strap is terrible. Uh, the original Bergen, the alligator strap that it comes on or crocodile, um, it's super stiff. I almost immediately switched from the Cartier strap to this one in uh, anthracite calfskin. Um, and that's because I didn't really have the patience for the strap to soften up and you know become comfortable. I wanted the, I wanted the watch to sit tight and snug on the wrist because with the stiff strap it comes on, it really doesn't sit good on the wrist. I don't know guys, maybe some of you that have this watch uh, can tell me how much the strap soften up because I love the look of it but I never really wore it because it didn't 
sit nicely on my wrist. The, the watch really, you know, was sort of floating above the wrist or hovering above the wrist with the original strap. So that was a big no-no for me. I like the snug fit and the strap to follow the wrist, you know, tightly, closely. Another thing that kind of boggles my mind a bit is the case back. Compared to, you know, the original um, tanks, the case back on this one is kind of screwed upon the, the case. So it gives you a unnecessary couple of millimeters that the, the case builds up uh, on the back. And I don't really know why, because my initial thought was maybe it's because of the water resistance, but, but, but this watch is only water resistant up to 30 meters. So I mean, don't really see, if, you know, the purpose of it. And also because it's a quartz movement, it's not manual winding or automatic. So it doesn't really need some space for the movement to fit. That's one thing I don't like. I think if they kept it, you know, flush with the case, uh, it would have been much better. So I don't know if just cheap construction, maybe. If anyone knows, please let me know down in the comments. And, but that's basically what I don't like uh, about the watch. And that are just minor details that really doesn't affect how it wears more than maybe the case back uh, and it's a small you know difference it's not a deal breaker so to say and the strap is a quick fix you just put on another strap and with this quick switch mechanism it's uh it's super easy to just pop it off like that you know and then just put it back together and that's a uh, great perk with the Cartier watches and the quick switch system. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, one year with this watch surprised me. Um, I was kind of, you know, very appealed by it when I first saw it one year ago. And uh, I really felt that, yeah, this might be the time when I finally purchased something new, which I haven't done in years. Uh, Price tag wise, I don't know if these ones are still quite accessible. These were named a one shot collection, but I've seen the restock, you know, steadily going uh, at the boutiques and the authorized dealers. So don't know uh, if it's still available. I guess it is right now. If you like the colorful ones, I'd be sure to pick one up soon because I don't think this one will be in production for much longer but that's just my thoughts so yeah i mean for 3000 euro this watch has brought me a lot of joy a lot of compliments for this watch and i think it's just a great looking cartier timepiece a modern watch with uh, a nice nice colorful uh, touch to it so guys that's it for this video that's my thoughts about the cartier must tank after one year of wearing it please let me know in the comments what you think about this watch if you have one what you think about it if you enjoy wearing it don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and see you next time